Can you share how you stay calm, respectfully debate or talk with people and get to a get to a decision, get to an end point without being overly reactive, without yelling or stomping? Whenever I'm a part of my schools, like it's kind of like nationwide, it'd be like model UN. So I'm a part of that with my school, but there's multiple and you have to create bills and you debate them, et cetera. And that taught me that there's always something nice that you can say about somebody else's like point of view. Like there's like, if you are in a heated argument or debate with someone and you just really don't feel like you can see their point of view, like there's always something nice to be said. You know, if somebody else Okay, I'm just going to make a sports reference really quickly. I'm a really big Ravens fan, and other people are Steelers fans. Not, I don't really think that's okay, but they're Steelers fans, okay? So I am not the biggest fan, but I can say, hey, you have a really good quarterback, whether I like it or not. So there's always something nice to be said about someone else, no matter what. Like, that helps me stay calm. And then if I don't feel like I can say something nice because it just may be a bigger deal, then you have to think, they have a different point of view because of how they were raised and you cannot make them feel a certain type of way for how they were raised, just as though they can't make you feel a certain type of way for how you were raised and how you're raised forms your entire point of view of things. So you really have to put yourselves in other shoes. I definitely agree with what she said because everyone was raised like differently. And so that is like a big reason as to why everyone has like different opinions and everything. And honestly, how I like, don't let like a debate like get really heated is I just like state my opinion and then they state their opinion and we can like talk about what we agree on and like if we don't agree on it we just like we're fine with it because like you know that everyone has different opinions and you should be okay with that whenever you start talking about your own opinions. I feel like the biggest thing is if someone has an opinion on something they feel like their opinion is set and they can't like it's hard to change their like minds about it so once I think people start need to start realizing that you have to listen to that other person and see what their point is and what they think is right and if you think differently then you think differently there's nothing you can really do about it besides just sort of try to open up to their opinions and try to find what you were saying, a middle ground, because I feel like that's the most important thing in an argument or a situation like that. I find too, like, you know, how Emma said, listen, and everyone else has just really taken and said, listen, be proactive in what you're listening to. I know at least like my own heated discussions with like people I know or friends I know, it's just at the end of the day, I come down to think about it. I'm like, I'm probably never going to agree with them, but why ruin my friendship with them if I know that one topic isn't all that represents them as a person? Unless it's like really, really bad, I'm not going to let it affect me. I can't let it get to my emotions like, oh, he disagreed or she disagreed or she said this. Like, come on, y'all. It's the air of just like, okay, you have your opinion. I have mine. Let's just take a deep breath, go get some coffee, go on a walk, like, Ignore what you don't have to be influenced by. Yeah, Jorge, I think that was so good when you said, um, like, you don't let someone else's opinion affect your own because you you have a, the ability to react to the things that, like, need a reaction and don't need a reaction. So if someone has a different opinion than you, like, it's not affecting you in any way. You're not going to go home and be like, darn, like, I wish Jorge agreed with me. Like, it, it's over. The situation, it's whatever your opinion is, is your opinion. Whatever is mine is mine. 100%. 100%. And I will say, though, that there are situations that I have been in where things said were definitely not okay and they did have to be addressed. But the way to address that is, again, like Jorge said, breathe in, breathe out, and address the situation. And I have, to, and whenever I'm put in these situations, I really have to think they were raised to think what they said was okay. So you have to politely explain why that wasn't okay. And if they decide that that is 
okay in their book. You have to just say, okay, that is somebody that I don't necessarily have to associate with because not everything is a simple solve. You know what I mean? Not everything is just, it's okay again, right? There are going to be situations where some things aren't okay, but if you're able to calmly say, this is why that wasn't okay, please respect this. There's no reason to be super, super upset or, you know what I mean? So that's just something that I've learned. I've got to keep an open mind and open ears and an open heart to a lot of things. I think if you want to like have a debate or like talk about your opinions with someone else, you need to have an open mind. And the other person has to also, like that is the most important thing.